Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I have a legend on my cask. This is the new Springbank, 21 years old. And uh, yes, it appeared 2014 on the shelves. And uh, there was a predecessor of this bottle. It was gone oh, at least 10 years ago. And it was one of the former yeah, top products from the Springbank distillery. The whiskies were very mature. They matured in sherry cask, mostly in sherry cask. They were very, very dark, um, but uh, they had only an ABV of 40 or 43 percent. And there were several different uh, bottles and batches um, with uh, different thistles on it, a, a red one and a green one, and uh, the taste differed quite a lot. This might have happened uh, because there was some time an end to uh, the warehouses, to the content of the content of the warehouses, and uh, yeah, then the 21-year-old was gone. Uh, Springbank went into yeah difficult times, and in 1989, I think I remember right, uh, they. Uh, started production again and the first few years uh, had yeah they had difficulties having very good casks so they used refill casks a lot and the first 10 year old spring bank I remember very well when it appeared uh, wasn't too good in the meantime they have their cask management very up to date the casks are excellent and uh, this 21-year-old must be from the years uh, 1992 and 1993. So uh, quite a few years after the startup or the restart of the production at Springbank and uh, casks should have been good enough for this flagship of Springbank. And if you know the typical uh, bottlings of Springbank with these thin card boxes, uh, then this one is really high end. This is a uh, uh, an excellent package for a legend. 46% ABV, so no coloring, no chill, filtra chill filtration, uh, and on the back a legend returns. Oh, it's quite heavy. Take the bottle out of the box. Here you see a gold label again. A legend returns. Springbank 21 year old marks a celebration of true Victorian whiskey production at Scotland's most traditional distillery. Why most traditional distillery? Because Springbank uh, produces or makes everything in the process itself on site. So from uh, the soaking of the barley up uh, to the bottling process, everything, everything is uh, done in the distillery. Long established production techniques together with the knowledge and experience of our craftsmen are used to malt barley on traditional malting floors and distill this most handcrafted of spirits which is then filled into high caliber oak casks and matured in our warehouses in Campbelltown until it is judged to be ready. The whiskey is then bottled in our bottling hall, making Springbank the only distillery in Scotland which is genuinely able to say that 100% of the process is carried out on site. And this leads uh, to a higher price of the bottles. At least 10 to 15 uh, dollars have to be counted on this uh, old-fashioned production process. And this bottle, hmm, 300, 350, 400 dollars will be the cost of this legend. Uh, the number, the available number of bottles will be quite small now in the beginning because production, the production ramp uh, 
uh, didn't went up too fast uh, in 92, 93. Uh, so it might be possible that during the year 2014 uh, the shelves will empty and we have to wait another year for the next batch to appear. And because we see a quite small number of bottles in a batch, there will be differences in tastes in the upcoming years. <sighs> Fruits and freshly picked strawberries. Incredible! I had my first strawberries this week today and or yesterday and uh, they came from Italy. They were still quite watered but this is so intense. Strawberry, freshly picked strawberries. Watermelon Toffee and, and very creamy. How can a whiskey be creamy in the nose? On the tongue, yes, but on the nose, it's creamy. It's remember me, it remembers me of a creaminess. Some toffee and a maltiness and a very light smoke. Really not much. It's not present in the first time, so it appears later on. Have a sip. Very spicy, very strong, but also a little sweetness and a little cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite spices. Mm -hmm. Almonds, sugared almonds. Yeah. In the back, a fainting bitterness. Chocolate, cacao. And the aftertaste is long. Long, creamy, and a little smoky. And it's sad uh, that this whiskey matures in ex-bourbon and ex-fino sherry casks. So out of this reason the whiskey isn't so dark or isn't as dark as those Oloroso sherry or Pedro Jimenez sherry uh, whiskies are. The fino sherry uh, isn't uh, oxidized very much so it's quite pale and light in color. Strawberries, fruitiness. Very good. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned.